Just over a year ago, I found this lens on eBay at a decent price. I bought it for around £70 and it arrived in great condition. I did actually use it on my Fuji X Pro and it was fantastic. And I also put it on my D600 and the lens turned out to be an absolute treat. So what is it? Well, obviously, as you already know, this is the Nikon Series E 100mm. 2.8 it doesn't have the nickel designation for what it's worth now in this case this is a fully manual lens you can see as you turn the focus the barrel does move out relatively significantly but that shouldn't really bother you in the real world the aperture ring itself clicks nice and solid goes 2.8 to 22 so a nice range there it's 2.25 inches long 57.5 mil 216 grams now this allows a close focus it marks it at 3.5 feet or one meter as you go down you can see it there it's not a macro lens of course but you can get tight framing for larger flowers and obviously if you use a crop factor on a body such as the Fuji X series well you can get a little bit closer. It uses seven straight bladed aperture as we said it stops down to f22. The filter thread is 52 mil and it has a metal mount. Now when it's shot on an APS-C camera give or take the field of view in 35 mil terms is 150 mil. When I throw this on my full frame D600, it's 100, as it says there, in 35 mil terms. Why do I buy lenses like this? Well, if you can get them at the right price, they're an absolute bargain. This is pretty fast, fixed prime, no messing about, straight on, and the focusing ring is smooth. To me, it looks a little bit small, maybe because it's a bit slimmer, but still cool, still fun. I like this screw thread inside the lens. That's very handy. Of course, it's black, so it looks great with any of the black bodies. Apparently, there's two versions of almost all Series E lenses. One like this, all black, plastic, but firm ring. And a second one has a sort of chrome looking grab ring and sometimes it's got ribs on the focus rings the optics of this lens are nice and straightforward don't forget to set your camera to the right mode to shoot without a lens because it doesn't have a cpu let me show you the inside of it again many refer to this as a sleeper amongst a series e lens because often well, from what I've seen, the Series E lenses aren't really sort of held up as the series to look for. But this performs great. Uniform sharpness, no problem that you can't get around. Flare, well, you just don't shoot into the sun, really. Just be careful where you shoot. The bokeh, it's fine. It's not amazing. It's not the cream machine. But it's definitely worth giving a go, especially at that price. Super light lens, old school, but stands up to the test of time. Now I found it to be nice and sharp and I don't pixel peep but there's a bit of curvature with the lens but nothing you can't correct in Photoshop and nothing that's really going to bother you too much unless you absolutely like to go right down to the nitty gritty and just really disturb the universe messing around online looking at these crazy things. There's a lot of information online about this lens. Just grab it and give it a go if you can get it cheaper than 70 pounds then you're laughing it's a good one to have in the kit bag this one is well worth your time and your money don't overpay for it that's not the point dig around try and find it it's definitely a gem this lens is nice sharp and good value yeah there's a bit of fringing occasionally barely any vignetting barely any distortion in the real world it's not as fast as the newer professional lenses from Nikon kind of 7200 to 8 but then it's not supposed to be it definitely holds its own against lenses like the 105 18 ais so for the price a stunning performer 
well worth checking out. Stay posted for more.